Julie and Abe are on the hunt for a four-season getaway to enjoy outdoor activities all year round. You can snowmobile right off this property onto the lake and then you're hitting some of the best trails in North America. Shopping for real estate at this time of year can be very tricky, but that hasn't stopped these two optimistic buyers. <gasps> oh. Wow. This is what you call a cottage, guys. They have a budget and a wish list. Now it's time to find out what's for sale. Julie and Abe are from the city. They have never owned a cottage before. I have a daughter and a granddaughter who lives in England. And I have a daughter who lives in British Columbia. I have a daughter in Toronto. So when they do come back, I think it would be a lot of fun for them to be able to come to a cottage. I have a big family and we'd like to have them all together for special events like maybe Thanksgiving or Christmas. They have a budget of $800,000 for their dream vacation getaway. Abe is a big outdoorsman and loves winter sports. The first cottage that I'm going to show them is on Redstone Lake, and it literally sits on some of Canada's best snowmobile trails. It has five bedrooms, three bathrooms, 166 feet of frontage with north exposure. List price is over their budget at $849,000. Look at that view. This oh is my nice. goodness. Wow. This is nice. So we have 166 feet of frontage, which is a good amount. The one thing about this property, so exposure, it's north exposure. Uh. Oh. It's not bad though. So the sun's gonna come up over here and it's gonna go like this and it's gonna set there. So because the lot here is fairly flat and you don't have a lot of tree line behind you, you will get sun like pretty much all day down here. Okay. But it doesn't have that south exposure that I know is high on your wish list. But you can snowmobile right off this property onto the lake and then you're hitting some of the best trails in North America. You have a big wish list when it comes to the cottage. Yes. So maybe, you know, some of the things at the water are things that we might have to sacrifice. You know what? Let's go check out the house and um, I think you're going to be very pleasantly surprised. Great. Okay. Look at the wood. Wow, I love the, the wood ceiling. You like that? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Oh. Nice. Oh, fireplace. This is beautiful. This is what you call a great room. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because it's so great. So open concept was really big on your wish list. You wanted lots of natural light. Yeah. I mean, come on. So we have living, we have dining, we have eating, all in one. I like the way the naughty pine is carried through. Yeah, I think they've done a really good job here of combining a cottage type of feel with also a home type of feel. That's Definitely not roughing it. This is not roughing it, no. Uh, who's the cook in the family? Yeah, I do most of the cooking. Well, go check out that kitchen. I can't believe a cottage has a kitchen that's way bigger and better than our home kitchen. Yeah, this, this is, is nice. unbelievable. So, you know, you can obviously see there's tons of counter space. Yeah. You know, the cupboards, you know, are cherry and they match the floors. Oh, they do. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Stainless steel appliances. This kitchen, you don't have to do anything. You yeah. can get in here and start cooking tomorrow. Yeah. Oh. Oh. This is Wow. Oh, still the wood, high ceilings. What and a you... fireplace and a deck. Yeah, a deck nice. here. Yeah, I mean, come on, look at this. You've got to walk out to a private deck. You have a beautiful gas burning fireplace. And of course, you can probably guess what's behind there. The ensuite. And it is an ensuite to die for. Oh. This is bright. Wow. Oh, yeah. Look at the ceilings. Yeah, this is cool. Julie, you wanted like kind of rustic. Abe, you're like, you know, I prefer a little bit more modern. I think this delivers both. I have to say I agree. This is beautiful. And look. Ah! A walk-in closet. 
You don't expect a walk-in closet in a cottage. Yeah, I'm really relieved that it looks like there's no work to be done. It's very modern uh, construction, so um, it, it looks great so far. Ah, oh, yeah. I was wondering what was up here. And I mean, come on, look at this. Look at this. This, we could, we could have the kids all sleep up here in sleeping bags for a slumber party sometime. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, this place could sleep probably 20 people comfortably. There are tons of bedrooms, four bathrooms, and not a single place could I find a problem where I felt like I had a project. I feel like I could just come in here, put my feet up and relax. We've got to go see this lower level. You're gonna die. Oh, this is great. Wow. Wood burning fireplace, Abe? Yes. With your wood conveniently stored right outside the Halliburton room? Awesome, and patio doors in the basement. I love it. Yes. No. Walkouts to the Halliburton room, which is awesome. Yeah. Nice high ceilings, so you don't feel like you're in a cramped basement. There's two extra bedrooms on this level. Oh. So that brings the total bedroom count in this place to one, two, three, four, five, plus the loft for like overflow and the kids. Yeah. yeah. There's a full bathroom down here. So you guys wanted a place that you can entertain lots of family and friends. I have given you the perfect place. I'm so excited that this place checks off so many of those boxes on their wish list. The fact is, this is above their budget, and hopefully I can find them something that is a little lower priced so that it's in their comfort level. Julie and Abe are looking for a getaway where they can enjoy all four seasons and bring the family together for large gatherings and holidays. The first property I showed them had snowmobile trails for Abe and a cozy yet modern interior to suit both their tastes. But they are unsure whether they'd be willing to go over budget for a property with north exposure. So I'm gonna stay on this lake because I think they really like it. And I'm gonna take them to a different lot with a much different cottage. This property has three plus one bedrooms and two bathrooms. 127 feet of frontage and west exposure. List price, $775,000. I think Julie's gonna be pretty hard pressed to find anything wrong with this lot. The cottage is gonna be a different story. This is different. <laughs> it certainly is. So I know it doesn't have the same curb appeal, but I promise you have to see this lot so you can get some perspective on a cottage versus a lot and what's more important to you. Okay. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Let's go look at the lot. Pretty lot, eh? Yeah. This lot is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's like our own forest. It's, it's good. This is a beautiful lot. <laughs> you are right about that, Rob. So as you can see, total flat, easy access from the cottage to the water. And at the water, let's go see what we're gonna find. Wow. So much different waterfront than the last property we were at. So this is 127 feet of frontage. And you'll notice too, once this freezes over, coming snowmobiling. Snowmobiling. So again, we're on the same lake, Redstone Lake. So access to miles and miles of snowmobiling trails. Great. Like, let me tell you, it does not get any better than this. And I mean, look at these views. It's beautiful. It is. So with this type of lot, this property could be a million dollar property if you guys are willing to put in the time and effort to improve the cottage. Okay, well, let's see it. Let's keep an open mind. You might already like a lot of the parts of the interior, right? Right. Yeah. Let's go. Oh look, Naughty Pine ceilings just at the left place. Yeah, uh, but quite a bit lower. Yes, we don't have the 25 foot high ceilings here. As I said, this is definitely a different cottage. So, as you can see, it's not as open concept as you're probably going to tell me you want, but I think it's cozy. Well, that's one word for it. And I think it's got beautiful views. It does, it does have a beautiful view. 
so we have the living room, which goes into the dining room, which goes into the kitchen. So go have a look. Okay. Oh, this, it's a little more open from this side. You know, this place is actually more cottagey than the other place. Definitely. You kind of spoiled us with the last one. You can't help but compare. Well, you shouldn't be comparing because know, you can't compare the lots, right? But this is still a really well-built cottage. You know, you're gonna see that there's certain spaces that they've already updated. You know, it's just not as grandiose <laughs> as the last cottage was. I know it doesn't seem like it, but this place can actually sleep a lot of people. So let's go check it out, and I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. So this is the first guest bedroom. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, the wallpaper probably isn't your taste, but I mean, at the end of the day, that's something that you can easily change. Yeah, that's easy to change. This place is, it's just so different from the other place. Oh, it's much older, right? Yeah. The ceilings aren't a bad height. Yeah. You know, and this room could comfortably sleep probably four people. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so. Uh huh. Here we have a very nice size master. Oh yeah. I I kind of like that wall. The knotty pine. I do. This is a pretty good size for a master, but. No ensuite? No, no ensuite. But what this place does have is a very special bathroom. Oh. Really? Mm hmm. I think you're going to be really surprised. Go Let's look. See. Okay. So, a recently renovated bathroom. Look, there's nothing to do. Oh, the floor is warm. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I think they put in some radiant in-floor heating in the bathroom when they renovated it. But I still think, I don't know, I, there's still work to be done here. So let's go check out downstairs. It's really nice. Okay. Thanks. So here we have what I think is great use of a games room. And here we have a wonderful media room. This would be a great place for the kids to play and such. And then we have a separate entrance right there. So you have, the, remember I was saying there's two entry points, oh, so you can come yeah. in through the top or you can come in through the bottom here. Maybe he's showing this place for the rustic look for you. But to me, this looks like a lot of work. So they love the cottage at the first property and they love the lot at the second property. So now I have to wrap my head around how I'm going to be able to find them both and stay within their budget. I've got my work cut out for me. Julie and Abe are on the hunt for a four season getaway where they can host lots of family and enjoy outdoor activities all year round. The first property had everything they wanted except for West Exposure. The second property had West Exposure, but came with its own sacrifices. To me, this looks like a lot of work. They love the first cottage and they love the second property. So I think we're gonna have to maybe get off these big lakes and go look at something a little bit smaller. This next property on Stormy Lake has four bedrooms, two bathrooms, 160 feet of frontage, and ideal west exposure. List price is under budget at $699,000. Oh. Wow. This is what you call a cottage, guys. Yes, you do. This I is mean, beautiful. Obviously, it's got the wow factor as soon as you walk in. It's very open concept. I love the construction. Like, these beams are gorgeous. Fantastic. And as you can see, it's really well built. So the finishes in here are really nice. So it's maple hardwood floors. Mm -hmm. um, they have custom railings throughout that was imported from Italy. Oh. Um, the staircase is made of cherry. Oh. Like, really, really good finishes here. So come look at the kitchen. Yes. Because one of my concerns when I saw this place for you was that you might find this kitchen a little bit too small. No, it actually, I think because of the whole open area, it seems huge. I'm looking at this place and I'm just agog at how beautiful it is. It's beyond what I expected. 
So you'll see here we have a really cute bedroom. Oh yeah, it's nice. Awesome views of the lake. And attached to it is what we call kind of a semi ensuite. So you'll see that it acts as an ensuite for this bedroom, but it also acts as a bathroom for everyone when you're entertaining uh, on the main level. That's handy. Yeah. And usually you have a two piece, but this but has a shower. A, yeah, it's a three piece. Have a look. It's a great shower. It's very tall. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Someone like you, Abe. Yeah, I hate bending down in the shower. But I actually don't see this as your bathroom. Yeah, but we might have tall guests. That's true. So that's good. And this is this is great. Great. Let's go look at the lower level. Okay. You wanted places for kids to play. Yes. Come on. <gasps> oh. Yeah. Oh. This is nice. Like, so there's your fireplace. Gas is yeah. clean. Gas it's is lovely. clean. Yeah, this doesn't feel like a basement again. Like it's like a gray. windows. Absolutely. Patio doors. Patio doors, so walk out right to the waterfront and look. <gasps> hot tub. A hot tub. Sitting in the hot tub while the sun sets over the lake. Those are some pretty romantic thoughts you have there, Julie. Yeah, that would be really nice. That would be really nice. I love the openness of it. I love the wood. I love the open risers on the stairs. And I really love that we don't have projects. So you'll notice that the floors have now changed to like rustic barnwood type flooring. Yeah. And here is the master. This is great. Come on. Oh, this is nice. it's so nice. Isn't this beautiful? So you have a very big double closet there. You have a very nice ensuite there. And look, your own private deck. It's great. Nice. This property looks a lot like the first property, a lot better than the second property. And it's got two buildings. That's kind of unexpected. So it's like having two cottages in one. Yeah, like a guest cottage. Welcome to your rustic bunkie. Oh yeah, this is rustic. This is neat. Come on, how cool it is this? It is, it is cool. The yeah. children would feel like they were in this old timey cottagey thing. There's a bedroom in there uh -huh. and then you can go up the stairs and there's a little loft area. Okay, let's check that out. I mean, oh, yeah. Come on, you want space for overflow guests? This oh, yeah. is great. This is really nice. Like, this is cool. And there's a door there. There is a door. Is that a false door or does it actually lead to something? Why don't you go have a look? Okay. <gasps> oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, this is. This is so cool. Isn't this I awesome? I love the wow. view. And that's there is a lot of flat land here. Absolutely, lots of flat, usable space down there. You've got the dock there, and it's going to be deep water off the dock. You kind of have your beautiful luxury cottage for entertaining everyone, but then you have this funky little bunky for almost a retro, rustic sort of vibe, which I think is a lot of fun, not just for the children. I think we'll like that too. Julie and Abe are on the hunt for the ideal place to bring family together for outdoor fun and holiday gatherings. With the perfect lot and exposure being high priority, they've quickly come to realize how much prime waterfront adds to the cost of a vacation property. I've shown them three great options and given them time to think. Now it's time for them to make a decision. So, as you can see, it's um, pretty much impossible to get everything on your wish list. Yeah. Let's review the three properties then, right? Property number one, Redstone Lake. Uh, you absolutely loved the cottage. You yeah. did. It didn't have the exposure you wanted and it was a little bit above your budget, right? Plus the waterfront. I'm a bit concerned about water level. Depending on the time of year, you know, the water does go out very right. gradually. Um, it definitely didn't have the sandy beach. Yeah. Which brings me to property number two. Right. Also on <laughs> Redstone Lake. Don't make that face. That had a beautiful, like, sand it did. beach. I loved it a lot. And deep water, and yes. west exposure. Yeah. Flat lot, 
lots of usable space between the cottage. Remember the big trees? There's a lot I loved about that, yeah. and I loved the lot. I think we agree on that. The space was awesome. But yeah. the building, meh. But you're like Project Abe. Like, couldn't you see how you could renovate that That's place? That's the problem if I didn't care or think about think that way. I wouldn't, you know, always think that I had some project to do. Right. You know, I don't want to, I just want to relax. This brings us, I guess, to property three. So Stormy Lake, much smaller lake. Mm -hmm. yes. Like much smaller. I would say probably about 10% the size of Redstone Lake. But the cottage, I think that like hit a home run. For sure. Oh, it did. Yeah. If we were going to eliminate one of them right away, which one would it be? Two. Number two. Number two. Property two is probably a bit more of a project than I'd like. And it, it doesn't really facilitate um, the, the gathering that we would like to have with our family. Okay, so now we're left with property number one on Redstone. But you also love number three, which really does have like almost everything that you're looking for. I think we know, right? Property three is pretty great. Mm -hmm. It's about everything we could imagine. You guys had like a wish list that was very big, but this property does it. I would expect there aren't a lot of listings this time of year, so thank you. Yes, thank you. I'm just so happy to have been able to find you the perfect property. Like, it's really exciting for me. I love when I can like match a buyer with a property like that. And you did. I think Julie and Abe have made the perfect decision. I absolutely love that cottage on Stormy Lake. I think they're gonna be happy there and they're gonna have a lot of fun with their family and friends.